Hey, RV Elementary students. This week's topic, it's, it's a good one. Are you ready for this? Bob Ross. Oh. Raise your hand if you have heard of Bob Ross before. Yes, he is a painter from the 1980s. He had the, the painting show called The Joy of Painting. And this week we're going to study him. He is on Netflix and he is on YouTube. And if you're a second grader, this is going to be a review for you because we already studied Bob Ross, didn't we? Yes. So uh, we put together a website, your specials teachers. This is really exciting. I love this website. And so for most things, it's going to have your stuff on our RV specials website. So most of my information is on there almost everything so just one thing I want to cover if you are one of those people that got the paper packet your your lesson in the paper packet is different than your lesson on the website and here's why I designed those paper packets for people that didn't have internet access so uh, I just wanted to if you don't have the internet I wanted to make sure that you could have fun participating so the paper Assignments are different than the web assignments, and that's why. So, this week's web assignment is all about Bob Ross. I'm going to uh, go over a few of the things about the assignment. Okay, here's the deal. I told you this before, but just to remind you, uh, each day you can do one special lesson a day. If you want to, you can do two. The lessons don't have to take any longer than 30 minutes to complete. But if you want to take longer, that is fine. I mean, let's be honest, Bob Ross is awesome. So if you've got the time to spend on making your artwork more awesome, why wouldn't you do it? Okay, so this lesson plan can be adapted for kindergarten through fifth grade students. And... You might be asking, um, what does Bob Ross paint? Well, he paints landscapes. What are landscapes? Landscapes are a picture that shows a natural scene. And the second graders could tell you that they usually have a horizon line. Landscapes can be arranged. Um, here, I'll show you this. Landscapes can be arranged vertically or horizontally, side to side. Learning target. You have learning targets and here they are. That's what we're going to concentrate on. Your first learning target is I can try. I can participate and I can do my best. Okay, so yeah, of course you can do that. You'd be surprised how much you can accomplish if you just try and you just participate. You might be saying, this is too hard. I can't do it. But if you just try, you can go. And the second learning target, are you ready? It is, I can work to accept my mistakes and learn from them. Repeat after me. I can work to accept my mistakes and learn from them. Okay, we all know this is very difficult. Some of you may remember an instance with me where you were very frustrated with an art project and you were just so mad you took the art project and you crumpled it up and you were so mad you threw it in the trash can. You didn't even bother recycling it. Um... Yeah, you know, that comes from wanting to be perfect. And the fact is, none of us are perfect. Mm, I'm not perfect. And um, if we try to be perfect, then we just slow down the process of getting better because we're so hard on ourselves. I can't do it. My art looks terrible. <sighs> So I wanted to study Bob Ross because he is a wise man 
there are many quotes out there from Bob Ross, and here's one of my favorites. Bob Ross said, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So I want you to remember that. Repeat that after me. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Whew. I know sometimes in school, it gets a little stressful because we feel like we have to be perfect. We have to get that perfect grade. I had a lot of stress with that when I was a kid too. Make it perfect. Boys and girls, your art must be perfect. Um, but for this project, let it go. And um, I just want you to try your best. Okay, so here's the way it's going to work. On the website, I have listed four different videos. And you get to choose one of those four videos. Next, you're going to watch the video that you choose and follow along. Before you watch the video, I want you to find an adult in your house and I want them, I want you to talk to them about what materials, what media, art media you're going to be using. What's art media, you might say? Art media is what you use to make artwork. So in this case, some possible art media that you can be using, pencil and paper. Most people have pencil and paper. Um, if you don't, just watch the video, that'll be fine. Um, but most people have pencil and paper, so go ahead and you can draw the scene. Now you won't be able to do all that fancy brushwork like Bob does, but that's okay. Your artwork doesn't have to just look just like Bob's. Now if you wanna to try to make it look like Bob's and you have some of the materials that can help you get there, that's okay too. Um, Second, you could use crayons and paper. You could use colored pencils and paper or markers and paper. You could use chalk, chalk pastels. Second graders, um, we use chalk pastels because I really like making Bob Ross artwork with chalk pastels because they turn out really cool. Yeah, they're messy and dirty and sometimes you end up looking like a coal miner all smudged up, but it, at the end of the day, it turns out really beautiful. I've got some really beautiful examples of the second graders, Bob Ross, um, chalk pastel artwork on Instagram. RV Elementary Art, that's what we are on Instagram. So you can also use uh, oil crayons, they're also known as oil pastels or watercolors or tempera paint or acrylic paint and a canvas. You can paint on whatever you have at home. If you have the back of a cereal box, go for it. If you have printer paper that you want to draw on, that's good too. Whatever you're working, whatever you have. Okay, so once you have your materials ready, find a good location. Uh, find your adult and make sure they think it's a good location too. And uh, if your adult or your siblings want to make art along with you, awesome, do it. That would be so fun. Um, so good location. I recommend putting some scrap paper down or an old tablecloth and then watch the video on the TV or on a laptop or a computer where, or a phone, wherever you see it. So those are your steps. Um, okay, and then when you're done on the website, it will show you possible ways that you can submit your art. Um, if you're having a hard time submitting it, it's okay. But if you can photograph the artwork and you can send it to my email address, which is on the website. And um, you can also, if, if you can't photograph it, you can go to the specials website and on the main page of the specials website and air on there, 
and you can in your questionnaire you can tell her, tell us what um you made tell us about your art making so the last uh, way you can do that, your parents can take a picture of your artwork and hashtag it, hashtag RV Elementary Art, and put it on Instagram. They can also um, send me a message with the, with the artwork that you have made in it. Things to keep in mind as you are working on your Bob Ross artwork. First... It does not have to look just like Bob Ross's artwork. If it's not going right, don't throw yourself on the floor. Don't get upset. It's all right. It's all right. We're not perfect. Just do your best. That's all you have to do. Um, the next, also remember that chalk pastels, tempera paint, acrylic paint, Oil paints will give you the kind of results like Bob Ross had. So once again, chalk pastels, like I said, I really like those. Um, and if you don't have any of these things, it's okay. Just do your best. Use what you have. Um, tempera paints, that's one thing that we use in class sometimes. It's a more chalky type of paint. Acrylic paint, which is a plasticky type of paint, works well. I think that's what Bob was using. Um, and oil pastels and these all work well because you can layer them on top of each other and that's what Bob Ross did he put down a layer and then you work on top of it and that's cool but you can't always necessarily do that with crayons or markers or colored pencils sometimes you can but they don't quite work the same way well um, yeah they all have different ways that work but these layer nicely uh, okay also remember, you only have to spend 30 minutes on the project. And if you want to spend longer, like I said, go for it. Uh, the other activities that I'm going to mention now are optional. Optional. So you don't have to be like, do I have to, Mrs. Strawberry, do I have to do blah, blah, blah. No, you have to spend 30 minutes trying this. So that's that's the main thing for this. I mean, maybe later it'll be different. But for now, that's what you have to do. But if you want to spend more time, awesome. So the next section, special Bob Ross events and opportunities. Have you ever done that, anything that scares you a little bit? Me too sometimes. And these are some things that I'm trying something new and trying something new is sometimes scary. So I'm going to have to be brave here and I'm going to have to be forgiving of myself if things don't go perfectly. So if things, if you see these events and things aren't going perfectly, forgive me. Okay. So here's the first one. Um, I am going to put the four videos that I have listed on my website. I'm going to put them on the Instagram page are not videos, but I'm going to put the, the artworks, the four different artworks that I can paint. I'm going to put them on Instagram and I'm going to have parents and kids. If your parents let you on there, vote for the landscape that you like the best and the landscape that gets the most likes will, um, I will paint that one. And I'm going to be painting that if, if my technology works well, you know, we can always fail. So Technology fails, um, might not happen, but I'm gonna try to paint whatever landscape is chosen. I'm gonna try to paint it live on um, YouTube Live. And let's see, I did set a time for this. On Wednesday, April 8th at 3 p.m. So this coming Wednesday at 3 p.m., I'm going to be trying to paint along with Bob Ross Live. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. And, uh, after that, the next day, raise your hand if you have been on a Zoom call before. So I'm going to try a Zoom call. Now, this is tricky because 
you know, I have a lot of students. There's almost a thousand of you. So definitely not everyone has to come on there because actually I can only fit a hundred people in my Zoom room. But if I had a hundred people in my Zoom room, we kind of full. And if a hundred people came to my Zoom room, um, not everybody would get to talk. So this is going to be a Zoom, a Bob Ross Zoom show and tell. And hopefully we have a manageable number. So if you made something that you want to talk about, show up and hopefully you can talk about it. Um, and so we'll just see how that goes. If I have a large number, if I have a hundred kids on there, then we'll just have to listen to a few, how many ever we get to. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. If you're in there, let's try not to be talking over each other. I can mute people, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we get through it. Gets crazy. I'll um I'll shut it down and say uh, and send a message to you later. Sorry, it was too crazy. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully I, we have fun. So wait, this is like a the Zoom show and tell is a critique. Artists get together and they do critiques. They look at each other's work and they say, Hey, this is what I made, and this is why I made it, and this is. I had trouble with this and I really liked doing this. I think I did this well. And then their friends give them constructive criticism. And they're like, oh, I really love what you did there. Oh, I see um, maybe this part over here could use finished a little bit. Did you think about that? So you give them ideas, but in a very nice way. Constructive criticism. All right, other fun Bob Ross activities. I also put on the website a cute little um, Bob Ross cartoon drawing activity and there is a lady reading Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel. This is a Bob Ross children's book so you can check that out if you want to. Okay, there we have it. I hope that answers all your questions. Stay tuned. I'm gonna go back and review what's going on. Okay, so if you have parents with Instagram, have them check out RV Elementary Art and have them vote on the landscape that you want to see me paint. Those, the voting is due by Tuesday, April 7th at 8 p.m. I'm gonna check it then and see what was chosen. And then Wednesday at three o'clock on April 8th, hopefully I will be doing a live painting of that. I think I'm gonna use acrylic paints. And after that, we're gonna try, for those of you that wanna take part, I hope there are, are some of you that wanna take part in the show and tell. Once again, it's not mandatory, but if you want to, bring your Bob Ross artwork, come in and Zoom, and um, we'll talk about it, have a little critique. Uh, I forgot to tell you, um, I am going to, this critique is for first through fifth graders. Oops, I forgot to tell you that. And I am going to send first through fifth graders the um, Zoom password through Google Classroom. Because I want that to be private. I don't want anybody to be able to get in there. So if you haven't Zoomed, ask an adult and hopefully they can help you get on there. You have to download the app and then they'll, they can help you put the password in. But a lot of people are Zooming these days that we can't travel around that much. So they've probably done it. Okay. So... I hope you enjoy this lesson. I had fun putting it together. I love Bob Ross and I hope you like him too. Have fun and I will talk to you soon. See you later. Class dismissed.